Peace and blessings, everybody. I hope all is well. Ecussionist is back in the lab. It is uh, episode or lesson number nine for NGO Radio Terra's free lessons for all ages at all levels on their YouTube channel. Make sure you tap into all their free resources, and that's what this whole program is all about. Great musicians from all over the world uh, come together to bring you some knowledge and information, and then we share it back and forth. That's why we need you guys to go ahead and hit us up in the comments or go ahead and email me at E-C-U-S-S-I-O-N-I-S-T at gmail.com. And we will be right in touch. And we are happy to answer any questions you have about any of the content that we're teaching. One second while I sip on this matcha. And let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to break down some rudiment stuff that I use in my fills and in my grooves on the stage and in the studio with some of the great artists that I work with. And I wanted to demonstrate them at different tempos. Um, so let's get into it. Um, let's check out the Bernard Purdy shuffle. All right. Um, we talked about the Chicago shuffle. We talked about the Texas shuffle. Um, we talked about the Art Blakey shuffle. And so we know that when, it, when we're asked to shuffle on the hi-hat, it would sound something like this. And the Bernard Purdy shuffle is... A shuffle in the right hand, and then the middle of the triplet in the left hand, and then you add the kick on one, and then you're going to fill it up with some of the funky stuff. the rudiment is. slower though, right? <clears throat> so again, it's shuffle. Right, 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 Or... 
right? So I love this groove because it fits in a reggae context. Context. I'm going to take it a little faster. Texas shuffle, right? Going into a fast Bernard Purdy shuffle. All right. So, um, what else can we add this to? Um, inside of a jazz context, right? That's actually, that's a nice, that's a challenge. I gotta, I gotta work on that. Really slow and really soft. this to a couple different things. It swings, 
It's got a potential to go into a 12-8 or a 6-8 field. shuffle but don't take it from me check out the master himself the bernard purdy shuffle is all over the internet and it is one of my favorite all-time grooves absolutely um something that i think is always applicable to every groove is uh sort of like the the hand clap sound using a flam on the rim so so when you use your right hand first. So right hand lead on the flam. It's a, it's a different sound when you use your left hand. So the left hand is going to hit the snare first. Right? That's, that's the left hand lead. Here's the right hand lead. It's a little sloppier, and I like that, about the, the right hand lead. It's more, it's more like Jay Dilla like. All right, so again. setting it works perfect in it also like a, a swing context or a jazz context when you're swinging and you want to go hip-hop <laughs>
So those are two really awesome and app very applicable grooves that you can use for your particular professional settings or for your jam settings. You can take that, you can pretty much put those three grooves, which is a swing pad, like a swing hard bop groove with some tasty comping in the left hand. You can put that with the Bernard Purdy shuffle when you want to go halftime and make it funkier. And then you can also take it more in the hip hop direction in the more Jay Dilla inspired direction, Robert Glasper, Chris Dave inspired direction and, and put that flam on the snare. And when you lead with the right hand, it's going to give, uh, I think it, it gives even more authenticity to the Jay Dilla style. I think when you put the, the left lead where, where you hit, where the left hand starts the flam, I feel like that's more quest love style. So Jay Dilla or Chris Dave, in fact, I've seen Robert Glasper play drums in verbatim. He's like right hand first with that flam. Versus. ways of, of getting to the same place so um, let's see I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and bring it to some call and answer so I'm gonna play four bars and then let you take four bars wherever you are in the world at home and uh, until we can be together in real time that's how we're gonna do our musical exchange so sort of like sending a message through space time and hoping that another uh, another sign of life in the other part of the galaxy picks up on the signal and sends a response back out of time, but still in real time, depending on your concept of real time and how long it takes, what, how long a, a, a revolution or a loop takes to get back to one. All right. I'm going to take four and you'll take four. Who got the jazz? 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 Thank <laughs> you. 